In this video, we're going to show you how to install a motor in your dryer. So now to install our motor, it's pretty easy. We're just going to take our motor and set it into the cradle. And you'll notice in the cradle, there's a notch here. And it's the same thing on this side. There's a little notch. And on your motor, right here, there's a notch as well, or a little bit of a bump. So that bump is going to go into the notch. So that helps you line up your motor. So you want to have your shaft with the threads on it where your blower attaches, go through into your blower housing. And just set it into the cradle. Just rotate it till it locks in. Once you know that you're locked in, then you can put your clamps on. So then you slide this one down over and you'll hear it lock right in. That gives you that good snap. And just the same thing for the other one that's on the inside. It's a little trickier just because you don't have a lot of room here, but it's the same process. Slide the back piece of the clip in and hook it onto the cradle. And just bring the front arm down Line it up, apply a little bit of pressure, and it locks in place. So now that you have your clamps secured on holding your motor in place in the cradle or in the frame of your dryer, next thing you want to do is put that blower on. So to install our blower, we're just going to basically bring it so it slides into the motor housing onto the motor shaft. Now this model, the blower slips onto the motor shaft and a nut secures it. On many models, this blower has a threaded insert here, and it actually threads onto the motor shaft. So you'll just thread it onto the motor shaft. It usually has a piece that extrudes through this housing that you'll be able to get your wrench on, and by turning your motor pulley with another wrench, tighten that up. But on this one, it just slides on. Put your nut on it. Now again, this is a left-hand thread, so whether you got a blower with an insert into it or a nut, you're going to do the opposite of what you would normally do. You're going to be turning it in a counterclockwise way to tighten it. Take your socket, and you'll need something on the other end to hold your motor fully, either uh, another socket or you can use a, an adjustable wrench or, or heaven forbid, vice grips. And just basically you want to hold that end of the shaft and tighten up that pulley. So we'll just get that good and tight. And on this one, we have a shroud that needs to go back on. Yours may not have that, but if it does, now's the time. And now we just need to install the assembly in the machine. So now in order to put our assembly back into place, we just want to make sure that we, when we lower it in, we line up these tabs, these fingers, so they slide underneath through these holes in the bottom plate. So we just bring it into position. We want to move those harnesses out from underneath it. And now that we have that lined up, We'll just need to put our screws back in. And there's two on the back side. Same type of screws. So now that those are installed and tightened up, we're just going to hook up our electrical harnesses. And we'll start with the one for our, our belt brake switch. We just slide that into place, and push it on. We'll do our motor next. That's our big connector. Just push it into place. Your tabs are locked on. Now we just have our thermostat ones to connect. And again, they'll only go on the one they're designed to fit. So you can't mix them up. So now our next step will be to put the drum back in and put our belt on. So I'm just going to use my belt as a little bit of a handle in order to put it in. 
I'm just going to bring the drum into place and set the back groove onto these pulleys. So with that drum in place, I'm just going to hook up my belt. I'm just going to reach in and find the belt. Put the back side of the belt under the idler pulley, raising the idler pulley up, taking the excess, pulling it over as I raise the idler pulley, and just slip the ridge, ribbed side of the belt onto the motor pulley, and then just release it, and our belt's in place. So now we we'll want to install our front bulkhead. And again, we'll want to make sure we get these rollers underneath that bottom edge of the drum. And one of the nice things about this manufacturer is this piece bolts to the front of the cabinet, but it also has these locating tabs that go into these slots on the cabinet. So it makes it really easy that once you get it in place and it's locked down into those slots, um, you can walk away and nothing's going to fall apart or fall on the floor and cause a big panic. So you just bring it in. I'm going to lift my drum a little bit so I can get those rollers in there. And now I'm just going to line it up. Now that that's settled in place, I'm just going to put the screws in to hold it, two on either side. The next piece I'm going to put on will be the lint filter blower housing. And since we're right here, we may as well make our electrical connection for those sensor bars. And since we have that all together, we may as well just put our lint filter into place. So we don't forget it. We'll take our wiring harness and just secure it into one of the keepers. So now we just need to put our top bracket into place and the first thing we're going to want to do is just bring it into place and secure our wires into those little clips. On this manufacturer they use a metal tab here that has to go into this slot. We just rotate that in place. Now I'm just going to hook in one side, side closest to me. And now I just need to put our screws in. So as well as that one for the bracket, we also have this one here that uh, holds that control board cover. Like I say, your model may not have that on it, but if you do, you want to put a screw in it. So now we'll be ready to put the front back on. So on this machine, there's brackets in either corner that go into the slots in the front. So all we need to do is just bring our front into place, set those brackets so they come up through those holes in the front. Bring our front forward, and at this point we're going to want to take our harness for our door switch and make that connection. And then just bring the front forward and allow it to lock into those catches. And then just put our screws in. So now that we have our four screws in across the top, we just want to put these two back in with the front panel into that lint filter housing. Now we just want to put our console in place. And of course we're going to want to do our electrical connections. And we're 
we're just going to push those together until they snap together. Now with our electrical connections made, just going to bring our console. And the console has a couple of long fingers and they just go into these holes in the front. Give it a little push to make sure all those latches across the top are settled. And then we just need to put our top on. So to install the top, we just bring it up into place, set it on top, slide it forward. Once it's in place, we'll just put the screws back in. And this make machine, it only has the two screws. On some manufacturers, they'll have three, possibly even four. However many you've got, that's how many you want to put back in. And that's how easy it is to install the motor in your dryer.